Thank you, thank you. Especially thanks to the dancers for those words from Blanchard Hughes about the Deep River. I know that we are running a little bit behind schedule, so I'll move on so you can go on and eat. Leon, thank you. Bill Kendricks, I think Bill Kendricks is one of the uh, men of the 100 Black of Silicon Valley, the ex-president, I do believe. Also, Ron Brown of Silicon Valley. All you educators, mamas and daddies and presidents and folks out here who worked just as hard as I did to procure an avenue of social intelligence, and I hope that you are uh, giving back. You're not just sitting on there on your wallet thinking that you're God gift to creation because you are not. You're just a tool here to keep our young folks going. And don't forget that. Young folks, you take advantage of it too. I won't be up here long because I know I'll ins insult somebody. So I'll, 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 I'll keep going. Uh, revisiting the dream, celebrating 40 years since the death of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, I am here, a very proud man to be back home among your folks. I spent over uh, two decades in combination as a uh, grammar school teacher, middle school teacher, I've seen to be done them all, junior college, and four-year college. Uh, now I want to say that to let those young folks present here know that because you're an athlete, that doesn't mean you're stupid. That just means you have a charge to keep. Uh, I've also been in the administration. All you administrators out there you know, uh, think that you are uh, overwhelmed with work, and you just started. You're working on stopping the youth full grass over your head, and that's called a grade. You don't want to go there right yet. Recently, I've enjoyed speaking to, to groups uh, uh, very much uh, like this platform we have here today, uh, to young, younger, and older folks. And uh, I like the idea of just kind of communicating, kind of conversating with uh, people uh, of understanding that need, that have the need to uh, be very proactive in a system which had not represented us all equally. Uh, I hope, hopefully, that uh, some of us secular and non-secular folks are equipped with professional attitudes to know that we are in a system that's having an interpretive law that has have dysfunctional attitudes, meaning the law is not working. Okay. Uh, I do believe that when something's gone wrong, folks, or when something goes haywire, that you uh, it needs to be re rewired and changed has its price. And no, I'm not talking about the change in the dollar and cents, but rather a need to reconstruct the belief that a dysfunctional attitude is okay just because it's a majority, I don't think so. So if you're sitting there in a majority, not thinking, then you are a liability to the, to, to the source of life. I'm under the impression, folks, that if the constitutional interpretation doesn't represent or include you, and you being a law-abiding social activist, meaning you're a person who deals with the law on an equal basis, one must lobby. One must lobby with constitutional options till equality, the noun equality, is understood. And uh, I do realize, folks, that now some present here to uh, this day may never have been an organized sports competitive athlete, or for that matter, an athlete on any level. Or maybe you don't even like athletics, but you were once a kid. And um, kids, children need some type of encouragement. Uh, we all did in some form, we all did. I came in earlier, to talk to a, a few uh, students and student athletes sitting just in the back back there. Where are your hand? Did I talk to you? I can't see that far. There you are back there. Yeah, I should have recognized that coat because you can see that's from a mile. And uh, they seemed very proactive in what they were doing on the phone. Talking to me on the phone. And I asked one, are you talking to me? I said, she said, yeah. And I said, well, what about the phone? She said, oh, I'm on hold. Okay, so. Young folks, I want you to know that you can be on hold on a phone, but don't be on hold in life.
So, mamas and daddies, now is our time. And you remember your mamas and daddies who are of years old who remember the times back then. You say, I ain't gonna have no kids. But when you got some now, two, three, four, and all they do is like little birds in the nets with the mouth open. And oftentimes their mouth is not just open for, for physical food, but for mental food. Mental associations understand that. When they come to you, they come to you for help. It might be a dollar bill help, but you still help. So understand that fact. In the face of adversity, folks, adversity, the struggle, still continues. And we must step forward to bridge the gap of social and civil awareness. And let us not forget the human. In a couple of minutes, I'll make a statement which you might look at and say, oh, did he do that? We will see if he's going to say that. Our kids are our responsibility for future bridges. And we must continue the construction of strong pillars of strength to withstand the catastrophic social dysfunctions. Now these words got more than five, six letters in it, so you young folks understand what I'm talking about. This is my uh, stand today, and I challenge you, all of you here, to stand and help strengthen those pillars. Because we must maintain the foundation of strength with so many have gone on before us. You young athletes here, I've met yet one earlier today. If I babble a few words, we're going to kind of hurry. Education through athletics have saved thousands of youth lives daily. And the stability, the understanding of that strength must be maintained and not moving forward because of adversity is not an option. We must agree to disagree. We must agree to disagree and then move on together proactively to strengthen other weak pillars. You see, a battle is never won if first you what? Don't engage. So let us not be controlled by our surroundings, which may be heavily burdened. And they are with the typical lethargic attitudes concerning social empowerment. It is not a sin uh, to, to hold conversation uh, that produce realities of difference. We all have opinion, and a lot of them are different. Learn from the difference and move on. Hate because of difference closed doors and no communication is possible. Keep those doors open. Now, there are those of us who love to be a part of a group because it's invoked as a yo. I belong to that club, or, 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 or I belong to that group, but I challenge you to take a stand and support these community actions with time donated. And remember, our youth are the beneficiary. Let us not forget that. Let us not forget our youth, because we're too high and mighty about our own carpet.